I got a 2003 Town & Country van in here. Dodge Caravan, same diff. I got an old blower. The rear works. Front don't work. These things usually always have a bad blower motor. Holy crap. And they usually always have a crap load of stuff in the glove box. Basically what you want to do is push in these tabs right here. You want to you got to pull up on there's three little pins here. You want to pull up Try not to break the dang thing. The center one you got to push down. It's kind of goofy but yeah, they come out of here. Come on, baby. There it is. And of course, you know, you make a big huge mess because every caravan owner's got gob loads of stuff in their glove box. Jesus. Smarties, ooh, candy, ooh. I got sugary, sticky candy stuff all over the floor now. Oh, nice. Oh, money. Money. Bonus. Jesus, wow. Avalanche. I'll, I'll, I'll let them keep their money. These little fruity things, though, they gotta go. Dog hair. Fruity things. Okay, now the reason why I took this glove box off is because I want to check this resistor. I got this test light grounded and the power and ground they both got power so I got power running through this blower motor and nothing's happening. I can unplug this pin right here. I can take my power probe I stab this one in the green and I'll stab this one in the black. This induces voltage into it you can see right now it's 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 the ground light is on so that means that there's that that means that there's actually continuity running in and out of this blower motor I can power it up and it's working so something's telling me I got an issue with this resistor I'm gonna turn the key back on check the voltage again yeah power I got no ground so one of these should be a ground on here I don't know which one ground and I should have some different fan speeds here so that must be high Huh. There, that's throwing a ground out. That speed. I'm just moving the knob so I can. Yeah, that's a constant ground right there. What the heck? Yeah, that's second from high. And that's low so I'm, I'm testing the switch right now see I, I, I got it off I turn it up one and I get a ground on this one I turn the dial up two three and I get a ground on this one I dial it up two and I get a ground. And this is a constant ground. This is a constant power. So I got all the speeds here, but I got no ground coming out of this resistor. So that, that's how you test this so you don't waste your time putting a blower motor in this thing. Um, you can use a test light or something to 
8 millimeter on these. There's just two 8 millimeters. Usually you see something all burnt up in here if you look at it. Somewhere in here. Sometimes they're all rusted, these connections. Yeah, if I look at these two pins, the ground wire is coming out. It's going through a resistor or a, a diode. That little bulb right there, that's a, that's a, that's a one-way linear diode, I do believe. All the rest of these are for the powers or coil windings. And um, they got different thicknesses and different, different windings in the coil. That produce in it it produces different amperage for all of these. You get the same. It, it it should lower the voltage too. Lower voltage, lower amperage, depending on what the coils are, and then your high speed should just be. Wow. Usually, usually high speed is just straight 12 volt power, but this one doesn't work that way. I got all four speeds in here because I got four different little springy things, and. Just because I like to have fun, I um, I hook my continuity tester up to this, and I just touch the two pins on um, each side of this uh, diode, and um, no matter what way I go, I got I got nothing. So what happened is this diode blew out. And I got no fan speeds, so I'll be replacing that. Yeah, and one more thing. If you induce voltage in this with wires from the battery or whatever, and you can't get this to work, you can have fun getting these out. Normally, you got to cut a chunk of this carpet out or pull it all back. you got to take take this out. This this is your recirculator. This goes from, from fresh air to recirculate, and then you got to... Pull the top off of this and the, the blower motors behind here and it's a real pain in the butt but I'm not going to show you how to take out that blower motor thank God they're a pain in the butt okay I got a new resistor they're nice and cheap looks a little different but it should be the same just for fun I'm gonna play around just to make sure I know what I'm doing I'm gonna test this diode See, that one's good. Now the reason why these resistor is in the cage for the blower motor is because then air can blow by it and keep it cool because basically it's a resistor. Any kind of resistor is, is basically a toaster. It makes toast, it gets really hot, so it needs some way to cool down. So it's usually in your air box so it can blow air on it and keep it cool. Resistance makes toast. No resistance, no toast. Okay, I got all the blower speeds. Just for fun too, I can test it now. You got a power there. And this isn't reading power anymore. It's reading 1.5 volts, which is it's basically a ground. And then the more it goes down, the more that ground, the power goes up. A test light, though, if I use a test light, it's not going to read like that. See, now just for fun. I can hook a power and ground up to it, it comes on. See, it wasn't doing that before. Then if I hook a... If I plug my ground in, the, if I make a, a separate ground, just a body ground, that'll be hot and this will do nothing. So there, that's how you test it. And it's working. So I don't need to put a blower motor in it. A lot of people misdiagnose these and put blower motors in it. So this is what you want. This is how you want to test it to make sure it's 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 not the speed controller or the blower motor. You know, you get to test all three components. And this is manual too. There's an electronic one, but they basically work the same way. 
if your resistor tests out okay and your blower motor tests out okay it's going to be your controller which is pretty rare but it happens okay bye